Okay, evening everybody. Tonight we're here we're going to talk about um, vector addition and get a short introduction into vector components. So um, to start what I've got, I have my grid paper set up here and I'm just going to draw some vectors out. Um, in class today what I had you guys do was uh, get the compasses out, go for a walk and record some displacements with directions. So let's say um, let's say I had three displacements. So I'll get a vector arrow and let's do our first displacement as um, let's go north east. How about that? Okay, we'll go northeast and we'll go one, two, three. We'll go three by four, right? It's going to be five meters. Okay, so there's a vector arrow northeast at five meters. And uh, then I'm going to take it and I'm going to go, say, straight north, four meters. Okay? And then my third vector is going to be west. Uh, you know what? Let's go, let's go northwest. We'll go northwest, and we'll do that. Um, let's go uh, 1.7, say. We'll go there. Okay, so there's my three vectors set up that, that I did. Okay. Now, one thing I want to show you is each one of these vectors, you can you can break apart into what are called components. And what components do is they take a vector arrow and they show how far you go in the in the east west direction or left right direction, and how far you go in the north south direction or up and down. Okay. So what I'm doing is is I'm using two perpendicular axes and I'm going to break it apart. So let's take a look at that first displacement. Okay, here's the first one. So we said it went, went 5 meters, okay? And then go in those 5 meters. I'm just going to change the color here. All right, there we go. And one more time. Okay, done. All right, so with this first vector, all right, we went, okay, to the east. There we go. One, two, three, four meters. Okay, and we went north one, two, three meters. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken that first displacement that I made and I broke it into two vector arrows. Here's my original vector arrow and I said okay well that vector arrow has a component that goes to the east and a component that goes to the north. Okay, the second vector arrow, it's pretty easy. The work's done for us in that it doesn't move east-west at all. Okay, it just goes straight north. So I don't even have to put that one into components because there only is one component. That component is straight north. The final vector goes north and it goes east. Or excuse me, it goes west. It doesn't go east, it goes west. And it does two meters for each one of them. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at what we've done here. So this first one, okay, is, is five meters. There it is. And that five meters has two components. It has a component that goes four to the east and three to the north. Okay? All right. The second component it goes straight north. So it just goes three to the north. And the third component goes two to the north and two to the west. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken these three displacements. Here's the first one, there's the second, there's the third. And I've broken them into components that go in the north-south direction and components that go in the east-west direction. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, remember we talked about last class, the resultant vector. So I set this up and I'm going to do the resultant vector in red. Just why not? Let's do it in red. So the resultant vector starts where I started, down here, and finishes where I finish, up here. There it is. Okay. That red line is the resultant vector. Okay, now here's the cool thing about that resultant vector, is that resultant vector goes to the north and it goes to the east. Well, how much? 
let's use blue lines to figure that out. It goes to the north. Let's see, it starts here, and it goes straight north. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight meters. All right, I'm going to put an eight in there. Okay, so I've traveled a total of eight total meters. This red resultant vector also travels to the east. And how far does it go to the east? Well, it goes one, two meters to the east. All right, so there's my two. Two, there we go. Okay, so here's what I have. It's a big mess. It looks like a geometry puzzle. But let's look at this geometry puzzle, okay? Let's look at how far north we went. The north, we said, was eight meters. Okay, but those eight meters can also be seen over here with these components. The first vector went three meters north. The second vector also went three meters north. And the third vector went two meters north. So it's three plus two plus three. And that equals eight meters. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken the components, the north-south components, for each one of my displacements, and I've added them up. 3 plus 3 plus 2 is 8. And so I've gone, as it see over here with the blue line, 8 meters north. Okay, how about east-west? All right, well, let's check it out. East-west... equals, well let's see, we went 4 meters to the east in the first one, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 0 meters to the east in the second one, because it just went straight north, it didn't go east, it didn't go west, okay, that's it right here, and then the third one, we actually went 2 meters to the west, now the west is the opposite of the east, so I'm going to say that's negative 2 meters east, okay, because it was positive 4 meters east here, plus 0 meters east, plus negative 2 meters east, which means west. So when I add that up, I get 4 plus 0 plus negative 2 equals 2 meters, positive 2 meters to the east. Look at this blue line right here, okay, my resultant vector is 1, 2 meters to the east. So in adding up the east-west components from my three displacements, I get the east-west component of the resultant. And what we've just done is, is we've done vector addition by components. Okay? You take each vector and you break it into its up and down or north-south parts and its east-west or left-right parts. And then you add up those parts. But don't forget the positives and the negatives, that's important. All right? The next video, what I'll do is I'll show you how you go about getting those twos and threes in those component parts. But um, this is just a, a, a brief introduction to show you how vector addition by components works. Hope everybody's having a good night. Take care.